Hello everybody, this is Cesar and I'm back to Beijing so as promised we are going to go in deep with the ML2 in translucent black that I bought in Madrid. Now uh, a couple of things, uh, there will be a second video uh, with me playing the guitar because uh, the guitar needs uh, a setup uh, probably during the trip Madrid Beijing uh, the difference of temperature and also the humidity if you if you hear a sound here on the background is the humidifiers that I are working 24/7 uh, because the humidity levels here now are below 20 so I need to increase the humidity levels as soon as I can it's already above 40 but I need to keep the humidifier um, working so I'm sorry for the noise now what we are gonna do in this first video of the review we are gonna go through the way the guitar is built and we are gonna go in deep uh, through some of the characteristics of the guitar and as always we start with the headstock if you look at it the headstock is finished in the same let's say frame fashion flame than the body it's beautiful it's beautiful you can see the Chapman logo and the tuners are Grover tuners Chapman has put really high quality tuners in this guitar if we go to the sides you see that it makes a beautiful contrast with the maple it is really very well finished in general the guitar eh? I think that the construction the quality built is really very good now the nut is tusk I have the feeling that the, the the nut should have been cut a little bit deeper what I mean is I think that especially in the low E uh, I find it I find the action at the first fret a little bit high but uh, we will go through the complete setup in a different video by the way for the ones who were always bitching about my super low profile neck cradle uh, here we are I have a new neck cradle so you will not see the Chinese tape anymore okay now the fretboard the fretboard is ebony is an ebony fretboard uh, I have to say that I love the ebony fretboards and I think it comes from uh, my years as a classical guitar player most of the good classical guitars um, the, the fretboard is made of ebony it has the dot inlays as you see a little bit on the upper side and the infinite or infinity let's say sign at the 12th fret it also has fret markers on the side of course I'm going to the technicalities the scale is a 25 inches scale and the uh, the frets are jumbo frets are extra jumbo frets I love jumbo frets I have to say the guitar has 24 frets eh? 24 frets I have to say that the fretboard is really very nicely done you don't see filler anywhere and the finish is really very good ah, I forgot to say that the radius is 13 and 3 quarters so pretty flat uh, you know that I love uh, flat uh, fretboards it's the same fretboard radius than my Yamaha SG 1820 which I love uh, so really very good another positive point now the body. The body is a two pieces mahogany body. You will see when I will move now the camera uh, the joint which is more or less here right and um, it has a flamed maple veneer on the top. It's not a very thin veneer but it's a veneer. Mm? Anyway I mean beautiful finish, beautiful flame and I love it sincerely speaking. Let me just show you the joint between the two pieces of mahogany there you go I think you can see perfectly the two pieces of mahogany there it is the only joint that I've been able to identify all around the guitar so I assume there is a two pieces mahogany body 
No, the pickups. The pickups are uh, Chapman pickups are called guitarnivore, like a carnivore, but guitarnivore. <laughs> I have not taken the plastic protection, not yet, out of the of the pickups because I wanted you to see how the guitar comes. Now, um, a couple of things. Uh, the pickups are really good. Uh, I'm not gonna play in this video because I need to adjust the relief on the neck, etc. As I said. But you are going to listen in the next video and they are really very good and they smoke some of the much more expensive pickups in the market, in my opinion. So, one point. Eh? Now, uh, there are some guys bitching about the, the pickup cavity eh, on the net and they say that the tape, the black tape is very visible here, why Chapman does not put the ring around the pickups, etc. Well, guys, uh, it's a personal preference thing in my opinion but uh, at the price tag of this guitar this is a 550 euros guitar at the price tag of this guitar uh, i think that the pickups are really excellent i much rather prefer to have a very good pair of pickups than a very good pair of rings to be honest now the bridge let me zoom a little, a little bit for you the bridge is a tom pro bridge and uh, the advantage of having the Tone Pro is that with the Allen keys that come with the guitar that you saw in the unboxing, you can basically uh, fix eh, the, 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 the bridge to the pole. So when you are restringing your guitar, you're going to clean your guitar and all the strings are off, uh, the bridge is not loose. So it will not go and scratch your finish or whatever, or fall on the floor or whatever. So it's a good solution. And it's a string through, as you see. Now, the controls. So you have your three-way toggle switch. Okay. Neck, both, and uh, bridge. And you have two volumes. Uh, neck and bridge. And you have the tone control and you can do coil tapping which is really very good and adds a lot of versatility to the guitar now before I go to the back of the guitar I wanted to give you a perspective of the binding and the quality of the finish at this price tag it is not the binding per se, it is the mahogany of the body, it's not the top, the top is a veneer, but it's the mahogany of the body in which the finish has been just done differently and it looks beautiful. It reminds you to the, um, to the maple, let's say, top of my beautiful lady in red, my PRS, but well, it's the mahogany of the body. But I sincerely think it's very well done. Eh? The same in the other side of the guitar. Well done. And the caraway with the special, let's say, uncharacteristic Chapman shape. Now, let's look at the back. So here you have the serial number. The W, I understand, means that is done at the World Instrument Factory, made in Korea, and 16 is made in 2016, well, and the rest are the, just the consecutive numbers. Now, you see the Grover tuners here, the Grover machines, and the neck is a satin neck. The satin, you see, starts more or less here. And if you look at it, it's maple, of course. And if you look at it, it is made out of three pieces of maple. Mm -hmm. Let me just try to, I think, that perspective you can see the first one is a little bit darker, second in the middle, and the third one, mm -hmm. because the grains are different. I think you can see that. Now, there are people who say, that this adds stability to the necks. Well, I don't know. 
there are people who say that it's much better to have a one piece neck fine i leave it up to you guys you may comment on the comment section what i can tell you is a very comfortable neck the profile reminds me a lot to the uh, prs the regular profile and uh, it's not thin it's not thick it's very comfortable to play i love satin necks and you see there the joint with the body and it does not have that dramatic heel so it's a little bit as you see in slope eh? so the access towards the higher frets is more comfortable and you see that the joint is really beautifully done eh? beautifully done so maple three pieces satin whilst the headstock and the bottom here from here onwards is glossy what do you think about the three pieces neck okay now we are gonna get inside the cavity inside the control cavity and the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, in some reviews uh, I have seen in the very very first models uh, people somehow bitching a little bit about the quality of the pots uh, what I can tell you is that the sound makes me think that they are good pots but let's just open the cavity to see if there's anything that we should be concerned about huh? well so that you see is shielded here and you see shielding paint and look i mean the pots are good pots eh? are not these small chinese pottery etc right that you can see in very cheap guitars uh, let me see if i can get a magnifying lens here and tell you exactly what's the pottery about now I'm gonna use my magnifying lenses you see it's a nice token they have light eh? so you can place them wherever you want eh? because they have this stand and then you can read or you can solder or whatever let me zoom the cavity for you and when I read through my magnifying lenses it says made in Korea Jin Sung they look like 500k to be honest but what is clear to me is that they are not those small cheap Chinese low quality pots again when you will listen to the guitar you will understand that they are they are okay pots uh, if I'm doing this again, eh, as I said, it's because there are some reviews at the beginning of this guitar in which the people were getting into the cavity and they didn't like too much what they saw and the cavity was not uh, well crafted either. Now, so there's no concern with the ML2s uh, about the pots and about the cavity pots. Eh? So you can see it, it's well done. They have this sealed in paint that, by the way, does not stain your finger. Others really do. And the last is that it comes with a very solid gig bag. Very well padded, very well prepared. Not that I am too much into gig bags, as you know. She already has her own case. Uh, I understand that you can order Chapman cases, but any case that will host a Gibson will host a Chapman. Uh, an ML2 but basically because the ML1 is more fenderish etc right now the good is that you have with that, that, that come with your guitar are the clothes I think you already saw them this nice sticker in case of fire please rescue my guitars that I think is more from Toman than from uh, Chapman the allen keys to adjust your truss rod and the bridge day string the Adarios and again the haters I don't know the Adarios the Adarios listen I mean pronounce it however you want I mean there were people bitching on my channel about the way I do pronounce the Adario okay fine 
10 points for you. Anyway, anyway, the Adarios NY Excels, right? 10 to 46, the Grover Machines Certificate, right? And the reason why I bought the guitar, the reasons are two. The first one is because I really was very curious hmm, about Chapman guitars. Uh, and, well, sincerely speaking, I think it's a fantastic value for money. You will listen to the guitar and you will tell me yourselves, right? And the second one is because, and now the haters, please come, I like Rob Chapman. I think he is a guy who has accomplished uh, big time his dream and he's doing exactly what he wants to do. Uh, and on top of that, I really like his left hand technique. As a guitar player, I can tell you that he's well trained and he plays with a lot of calisthenia, meaning that it does not look like he makes an effort when he plays. He keeps his left hand so close always to the to the fretboard and his fingers are not flying fingers. Eh? He does a lot of economy of move. And sincerely speaking, though I think that his right hand could do much better than, than he does, but I consider that he's a great player. And on top of that, I like him very much. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm curious about the guitars. I like the guy. I'm going to buy one of his guitars. And I have to tell you that I don't regret it. Thank you very much, guys. See you very soon in my next videos. And up to then, as always, you know, play your guitars, have fun, and be good. Bye.